Sean Anders. Welcome back to Arizona. Sean is back. You used to live here, what, Tempe Mesa? Yeah, Tempe Mesa, yeah, many years ago. Right on. Yeah. You know, when I think Sean Anders, I think all-time favorite comedies. Dumb and Dumber, that's my boy. Hot Tub Time Machine. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yes. I love that one. You know comedy. <laughs> I, I like to think so, yeah. <laughs> and now we have Instant Family. Yeah, a little different on this one. What's the story behind Instant Family? Well, it's inspired by my own story of adopting three kids out of the foster care system uh, about seven years ago. And it is a comedy. It's a different kind of comedy. It's more of a dramatic comedy. It's going to go for the, the heartstrings a little bit more. But it's also very uh, grounded and accurate to, uh, to to the experience of adopting kids out of foster care, both in hilarious ways and in difficult ways. Well, tell me about your personal experience with this. My wife and I, you know, I... For years, I felt like I couldn't afford to have kids. And then when my career started to come online, I was doing better. I made this stupid joke to my wife one day. I just said, you know, I feel like I'm going to be one of those old dads. By the time the kid's a teenager, I, I won't be able to throw the ball anymore. Right. So I just made this joke and said, you know what? Why don't we just adopt a five-year-old and it'll be like I got cracking five years ago. And my wife was like, oh, that's really, I would do that. And I was like, yeah, I was totally kidding. <laughs> She's and, like, uh, it's done. And she kind of ran with it. And we ended up, you know, Going to an orientation and and then you know it's it's a long story but ended up with th with three kids three siblings that we adopted out of foster care which was a nightmare for a while. Okay, <laughs> give me a nightmare story. Oh my God, uh, our daughter from the very beginning. I mean, it's such a tough adjustment for everybody. And our our youngest was three years old and she was she would have these exorcist level head spin around meltdowns like 10 times a day at the, at the beginning. And, and we were never getting any sleep and the kids would wake up early and throw things at each other. It's, it's kind of standard parenting stuff, but when you're brand new to it, mm -hmm. it was really, really difficult. But then when, you know, when you, when you adopt kids out of foster care, they come into your home already walking and talking. And so it's a, it's a bizarre, chaotic experience, but you also get this great experience to fall in love with your kids over the course of time. And that's a pretty wonderful thing. Now you've got Mark Wahlberg starring in the instant family. Yeah. Now you've worked with Mark quite a few times right now. Yeah. Tell me about the working dynamic. It's great. Mark is Mark is a businessman first and foremost. So he is he's running. He's he's got you know his his different companies. He's got a car dealership now. He's got Wahlburgers. So Mark is is you know he's kind of doing doing business, making moves, and then he comes to set and he likes to like get right to it. And he's really he's really professional. He's on top of everything. He knows all his lines. He knows everyone else's lines. Wow. So when Mark comes in, it's it's really funny. Somebody will drop a line and Mark will know what it is and say, Oh no, no it was just that. And he's really cool about it. But he he. Uh, He's just so on top of everything. So as a director, it's so much fun to work with people like that. You know, because sometimes people will sort of show up and go, what are we doing today? And Mark's mm -hmm. never that guy. Wow. On top yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do it. We're going to go check out Instant Family in theaters November 16th. Sean, thank you so much for coming in. Hey, thanks for having me. You Appreciate bet. It. Good luck with the movie. <laughs> thank you.